Okay, now we're going to come into a supine crescent moon shape. Awesome. This is fantastic for opening up through the chest and the intercostal area of the chest. Fantastic for the spine, hydrating the discs and moving them in a way in which they don't normally move. Uh, it's fantastic for opening up through the hips and a whole heap of different things. So make sure you read through the benefits and the contraindications as previously explained. Okay, so what we're going to do is come down to our Shavasana. Feet nice and straight in front of us, hands by our side. We're going to take the left foot and drag it across to the left side of the body. Take the right foot to meet. Take the left arm over the left side of the body and the right arm to meet. With the left hand, brace your right wrist and lift the left foot up and over your right ankle if you feel comfortable enough to do so. And this is your crescent moon. Inhale and on the exhalation, stretch all the way through the side of the body. Inhale, exhale, and just stay here for a couple of breaths, feeling the chest expand, feeling the hip and the side, the right side of the body. here for a couple of breaths. Bring the head back to center. Release the hands, release the feet. Bring the hands and head back to the center and slide the feet back to the center. We're going to go to the right side. Right foot slides across. Look out through the left arm. Continue with your breathing. Paying attention to the rise and fall of the stomach, the breath flowing through. Centralize the head. Release the arms, release the legs, bring the arms and head back to centre, and the legs back to centre. Bring the legs to chest, or Moktasana. If you're comfortable enough, roll yourself up. Obviously, you don't need to roll yourself up if you're going to be continuing doing exercises down in a supine position. It's just for me to get up and to say thank you for joining me once again. That was your supine crescent moon and I hope you have enjoyed.